I'm going to talk around and about the book, because for me, to be honest, this is still the innovation to beat. I absolutely love books, and I think this dialogue about the death of the book, the threat of the book by new technology, is, is nonsense, to be honest. Um, new technology has created some fantastic formats, some fantastic media for books to survive through, um, but as we've seen, these have all proved very short-term from CDs to mini discs to DVDs. These are all short-term formats that have actually quickly become redundant and it can be quite hard to access information on them. The book may be imperfect, it may be, uh, it may be perishable, highly perishable, but over several centuries worth, it has proved itself the best format for submission of information that we have. And you know, for one person, I don't think that's gonna change and I'm pleased with it. Another person who doesn't think this is going to change is Umberto Eco, um, and he's written a fantastic book that I would recommend you all read called This Is Not the End of the Book, ironically. Um, it's a collection of conversations between him and the French actor-screenwriter Jean-Claude Carrière, um, and in it, among many wonderful things that he says, he says this, the book is like the spoon, scissors, the hammer, the wheel, once invented, it cannot be improved. For me, that's a pretty awesome innovation because it's still an innovation today. Obviously, when I talk about the book, I'm really talking about the Gutenberg Press, uh, invented around 1436, because that's what made the book public. That's what made it accessible, and it really opened up a new landscape for people to participate in culture to have their stories heard, to hear other people's stories, and to kind of start this public dialogue through this cheap, mass-produced format. And I think social media is very much like our Gutenberg Press. It's not an original observation. It's been many times before. But I think that there's more in that analogy that we can get out of. Because sometimes the danger with social media is that we think that by using these innovative platforms, we are being innovative ourselves. Um, if we take that analogy back to the Gutenberg Press, that's blatantly not true, as anyone who has read Dan Brown will know. Simply by using innovations such as a book, writing one or reading one, you are not necessarily being innovative or producing something of creative quality and lasting value. So, 